Garthen, new everyone, and welcome to today's press conference. If you would like a question today, please use the raise hand feature on Zoom, and we'll try to get round to as many of you as we can. When you're promoted to a panelist, please then unmute yourself, and away you'll go. We'll start with the broadcast section, and then we'll move on to a few newspapers. We're going to begin today's press conference with Sky Sports News and Gary Cuthbert. Gary. Hello there. Uh, you can see me all right. Yeah, see you. Hello, Josh. you managed to get a bit of time off over the international break? Yeah, yeah a little bit. It's, uh, it's, it's the time for, for the managers to have, and, and the guys who are here to have a little bit uh, time off. And uh, today was the first day where everybody was back, so we, we feel excited that it, uh, that it um, continues. And the league so continues. Good so good, good day to ask you what you found out regarding any injury uh, updates with the, the, your returning players? Yeah, unfortunately we have two. Two players are out, N'Golo Kante and Christian Pulisic. Um, they came back both injured, well N'Golo got injured in the, in the Liverpool game and still suffers a little bit. We're trying um, maybe to, to answer already the next question from you. We, we try with N'Golo to Tuesday, for Tuesday. This looks uh, pretty good and um, for Christian unfortunately he came yesterday on crutches and yeah, we have uh, like an a ankle injury with about 10 days. And Romelu um, was suggesting that he might have suffered some kind of thigh problem with Belgium. No, not at all. Like, I don't know, maybe he had some problems, but he came back yesterday, he trained yesterday, uh, he came back two days ago, yesterday he trained with us, today he trained full, no problems at all. Um, has football gone mad with this situation with Thiago? <laughs> with not only with Thiago, but but with the situation, yeah. Uh, maybe not football, but but the world itself is not it's not the same with traveling and travel restrictions. If you if you try to go in a in a national break, me myself home to my country, or I bring people like my family over, it's it's not the same anymore. It gets more and more complicated. Yeah. Of course, uh, of course, uh, the clubs want uh, want their players to play, the national teams as well, and uh, they are for, and, and the players want to also to play. Don't forget it. And 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 still, if it ends up in a situation where players cannot play for the national team and then should be maybe suspended uh, in their league, that does not help nobody. That makes no sense. Not for the fans and not for the football and not for for for, for the national team and not for the clubs. So. Yeah, I don't know. Me, me personally, I think maybe it could be a, a solution that, that we move the games from the red from the red listed countries to green listed countries, like we did in with the UEFA Champions League. I mean, we played in Romania, we played in Sevilla, so this this was a solution where um, where games could be played. So maybe we can find a solution like this. And right now, Thiago is not out; <coughs> he's not officially out. The chairman is still in negotiations. I'm, I'm waiting for the final decision. For me, it's enough if I get the final decision tomorrow. We will take the latest decisions tomorrow morning, and we have still hope that he can play. On a happier note, and finally from me, you've got, managed to get Sal in. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how difficult a deal that was to do, and what your role in it was? And also, do you hope you impress it enough that you're a force to make it permanent at the end of the season? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the second step. Then we have the we have the chance, which is which is good. And now it's on us and on the player, and we can get to know each other very, very uh, in, in details and and see if this is a good fit. Um, as you know, we were like we agreed to to for for Billy Gilmore to go to Norwich to have more minutes on on the highest levels. He was our fourth midfielder last season. Now with the COVID situation, the COVID uh, since a long time, and the Euros and the Copa America, I personally was a bit concerned to go into the season with only Shoshinho, Matteo and, and Golo. Not, not because of uh, uh, lack of quality or character, I'm, I'm the happiest coach that I can be. Uh, to have these three guys, but in terms of it is a bit unpredictable. We have uh, a, a club World Cup to play in December. There are many games to come, and nobody nobody knows exactly. And and once I mean, 
most of the time, normally two of the three guys always play. Once you have one injured, once you have one suspended, you 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 already are in danger to overload players. So when the we were looking not desperately, but we were looking for alternatives, and and Saul is on the radar from Chelsea many many years. I know the player since many many years. I was fighting in some other clubs for 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 the players. It was never possible. So when the situation was in the very end, that it is uh, that it is possible. To